How good, are you doing? Good morning and good night. Yes, good morning to you and good evening to me. Skin is shining. You're looking lovely today. I'm trying, girl. You know, a little Dermalogica helps. A little bit here and there, right? Don't we love it? We had to bring the bare face realness. But I was just introducing everyone that we're here doing a live today. And we're going to talk about hyperpigmentation and all that good stuff around skincare, aren't we? Her, I'm ready. Your hair is so cute, by the way. I love it like that. I just did it. Are you going to do your intro by any chance? Could we get the Jackie song, if you don't mind? So she's, the intro is retired, but I will do it upon request. So you going to do it with me? Of course. I'm there. I'm there. Okay. One, two, three. Hit it. Jagged, 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 jagged. Jagged, 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 jagged. Jagged, jagged, jagged. <laughs> Extra one there. <laughs> <laughs> I've, been, well, I've got a couple of notes here as well just because i want to make sure i stay on track and everything but we're doing this together so i mean we can both take the lead um as we see fit but i'll just mention again guys that we're here in partnership with dermalogica they have a great offer for both of our followers isn't it they do they have a good one but can i don't can we say what it is yet or can we I think we can. I think maybe should we warm up to get there? Should we get there in a second? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, let's warm up. But the code will be tea time. Okay, okay. What are you drinking today? Oh, my God. I forgot to make my tea. <laughs> to be honest, I, I, I only I was... have water. Okay, water's fine. It counts. That's what we need, right? Well, we need to stay hydrated anyway. We're talking about skincare. So that's the it, first tip is... True. And make sure you're drinking water. Make sure you're hydrated. I love it. I love it. Um, so maybe we should get into talking about your skincare routine. Or actually, should we say the offer first? I think we should. Yeah. But actually, we should share the offer because it's actually a really good offer. It's a good Go ahead. Oh, your, your comment isn't penned, by the way. I don't see the, the code. Okay. Please share the details of the offer and I'll, I'll write that now. Okay. Hold on. Wait, no. I can't pin it because it's your live. Oh, so yeah, basically... I write it down now and then you share verbally the offer okay hold on let me get my notes y'all so basically um patricia and i are gonna be talking about the power, power bright dark spot serum which i've been using for the past couple weeks it's really amazing and because dermalogica loves us so much and loves you guys so much they decided to give y'all a little gift with purchase so basically if you spend 55 dollars or 40 pounds at dermalogica.com okay with the code tea time all one word you get the brightening bundle gift with purchase for free and it is actually like a really good deal because yes so first of all you get the minis you get, oh, the minis include the Hydra Mask Exfoliant, another product I've talked about. You get an antioxidant hydro mist. You also get a skin smoothing cream. You get a mini um, invisible physical defense. Dennis really likes this SPF, by the way. And then do we also get the mini Power Bright, if I'm correct? We, the mini Power Bright? We get Power Bright. I don't have a travel size mini Power Bright. It's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of good stuff. It's a really yeah. and the fact that you can get it in the US and the UK. Yeah. And well, um, get excited. So, but sit down with us. Let's go through our skincare and then we'll have links so you guys can pick up the goodies as well. Look at us being like official influencers. I know. I'm actually trying to write. See if you can try to pin my comment, Patricia. I'm gonna write it in the comments and see if you're able to pin it because I can't do it because it's your live. Yeah. Okay. I, no, I try, try to pin that. I pin mine. There we mine. go. Boom. Yeah, okay, that, perfect. 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 Myself. Okay. Even better. We can get to the good. Okay. <laughs> so maybe you start off first. Like, what is your skincare routine? Because you <sighs> are glowy all the time. I need this level of glow. Well, I can only I can only take so much credit because I have to say shout out to the women like you who are mothers who really have to be super uh careful with your time like for me i feel like okay like i don't really have an excuse because i ain't got no kids like i don't really have an excuse so i take 
my skincare really is like my day-to-day -day ritualistic, you know, because I feel like I kind of have the time to do that right now. And I want to take advantage of that for as long as I can. So I'm very, very happy to say, and this is not me gloating, but my skin has been doing the best it has been pretty much in like over a year. Um, a lot of us, like, I don't know if it's just me, but like once facialists and estheticians shut down last year, my skin was going through it. And now my skin is finally getting back to normal, but like better than. So typical yeah. things that I deal with are like hyperpigmentation, um, acne scarring. Those are pretty much like, for me, the acne in your like pimples come and go. I don't really care about pimples. It's like the scarring that lasts for months. So that's pretty much like the bane of my existence and my constant biggest concern because I have dark skin. So mm -hmm. it's just yeah. like a reoccurring thing. So I always, it's not like you get your skin good and then that's it, it stops. Like, no, you have to maintain the skin. So that's pretty much what I've been dealing with. And um, a lot of Dermalogica products have been essential to helping get my skin back to normal for me. So what about yeah. you? Um, I mean, I'm kind of similar, you know, it's the darker skin problems, um, hyperpigmentation. It's just one of those things that comes and goes. And yeah. mine actually worse after I had a baby. Like I had the, the mask. So with the, your neck, my neck got super oh, dark. Wow. And, like, before, if I got like a, a mark or something, like I wouldn't leave a scar, but actually I started leaving like a dark mark and it would really stay. And like, I even have a few like on my forehead and on my chest, but they cleared up so much more. Um, mm -hmm. I have the Power Bright, which is just really great at fading pigmentation. I've been loving it consistently. Yeah. But trying to like maintain a decent skincare routine. Yeah, like, I mean, your skin looks great to me. I think your skin looks beautiful. Like your skin always looks really good. But I think that's just a part of our jobs is we know how to like, <laughs> we know how to like show our, our, our best days. And then yeah. okay, it's time for a hiatus this week. <laughs> yeah. That's something that's always going on with me. So um, yeah, I mean, that's, that, that's crazy. Like now that you mentioned about pregnancy and like, that's also something that we need to be mindful of is that, you know, our hormones are constantly roller coasters and having to deal with that is like a whole different challenge. So it can be annoying. It can be frustrating, but you know, good yeah. skincare helps. And it does. It does. And I, I love like skincare based in science as well. I don't, I think we're quite yeah. similar. I do like some natural products, but I really like products that have ingredients that are kind of are backed in that research and, development i like the labs doing whatever they do and just really coming up with that science to really help skincare and i feel like dermalogica really has that in a lot of their ingredients that i just yeah have. i agree like i i feel like once my esthetician friends start talking about something then i'm like paying attention like that's when i'm like okay what are the what are the girls saying if 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 so and so likes it then i'm gonna try it i'm gonna give it a chance so yeah, I agree. Like, I need science, girl. Like, give me chemicals. Give me names I can't pronounce. If it works, <laughs> if it said, works, like, I don't really care. You feel me? Like, if it works, yeah. I, that's, give me, give me the chemicals, okay? Give me the actives. Give me the acids. Like, yeah, yeah. hey, it yeah. needs to work, period. I love, I love so, that. yeah, Dermalogica does it for me, honey. Like, I have so many staples from this yeah. brand that really, really just work. It's so true. So I've washed and I've um, used the microfoliant already. So I'm ready for my next step in my routine. And also I feel like saying that people don't know that we actually know each other first because it's yeah. crazy for people. I feel like we didn't have that moment. But um, me and Jackie have known each other for quite a while. Obviously we're both on YouTube and um, we've seen each other regularly. You've been to my house in the middle of the night. I've been to your house in the middle of the night. But I think we've never taken any content together, have we? No, we haven't. Because like when you're just like enjoying someone's company, like I love doing that. And I'm not always in the moment thinking about like capturing it. So I appreciate the fact that like we have had a chance to like build our friendship and like get to know each other, go on trips together and yeah. not necessarily be like, hey girl, like, Hey, yeah. look, you know what I mean like okay. that's fun too but you know like it's not every it's not by force it's not every day like show who you know and who you're cool with you know but I'm glad that we're doing this together for the first time especially with the brand that we love you know shout yeah, out to Dermalogica <laughs> for supporting yeah. us and oh, making wow. this possible that's great so I'm gonna go ahead and 
put on my next step. So my first step when it comes to my skincare is, ex well, cleansing with like mm -hmm. a cleanser and then I'll like exfoliate. Sometimes with something that contains the glycolic acid. I mm -hmm. do like it. And then I go in next with either some form of treatment or like a vitamin C or Power Bright. This is really, really good for like fading dark marks. I haven't had it yet as part of my nighttime routine. Have you put this on yet? So I actually have been using this during the day, but okay. for the first, so I actually recently learned that you can use this with the microfoliant. So okay. I used it last night, maybe for the first time together, not this serum. I've obviously been wearing this for weeks, but yes. Yeah. Um, oh, and Patricia and I forgot to uh, mention that we're going to be kind of like finishing our skincare routine together while we talk about the product. So that's what we're going to do now. But um, I'm just getting into apply the product. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I, I just like you, I do like a pre cleanse. I'm a heavy makeup wearer. And then even when I'm not wearing makeup, you know, you need something to like break up SPF and like heavier um, creams and like the oils in your skin. So I'll use like the pre cleansing oil. And then I'll wash my face with the um, special cleansing gel, a little heavier. And then I will usually use like a toner or an essence or both. And then mm -hmm. I'll follow up all my serums. So right now I'm going to apply the Power Bright Dark Spot Serum. And this to me kind of does the equivalent of like what niacinamide does. You know, everybody's talking about niacinamide right now. It's brightening. Yeah. It helps with like skin doling. And the best way that I can describe niacinamide, like the way that it was described to me, was that in order for acne and dark marks to thrive, to not thrive, you have to make it so that the environment around them is just not the perfect environment for them to thrive. So that's kind of what niacinamide does. Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, mm -hmm. it basically, um, it's not like a lightening agent. It's not bleaching. It's none of that. It is brightening and... I think it also goes firming. If I'm, it's fading and brightening. And some of the other key ingredients, like I mentioned, were resourceful. Nice. That which one? Exo resourceful was one of the ingredients that's in this, which is phenomenal. Um, do you remember? We actually spoke with the experts at Demolition yes. who told us a bit more about what the ingredients are that help out with you know the brightening and the helping to fade pigmentation and that was an ingredient to me that i wasn't aware of but I, do, I do know about what they call tyrosinase inhibitors which help people who have like excess pigmentation not natural pigmentation but anywhere where maybe you've got more pigment than you need to have it helps right. to, um i believe it is reduces the activity and maybe an expert can come on one day and tell us the exact details, but it really does help if you have any darkness or anything that is not what your natural skin would look like. So for me, right. it's where I got my darkening on my neck specifically, and then where I have like the marks here and here, I often just concentrate my treatments in those mm -hmm. kinds of- Spot treat? Spot treat, exactly that. Oh, okay. And, oh. And, and, everywhere if I want to but sometimes I just want to kind of deal with the bits and bobs that are causing me you know a bit of an issue just like the targeted treatment areas yeah yeah I can see that because I'm kind of going through that with my skin now where like you'll get like one blemish and like you don't want to treat your whole face mm -hmm. so instead you might use a product that will just treat that one specific area that targeted area mm -hmm. and girl it's it's a journey like it it's a non-stop never-ending journey but you know what i've learned so much about my skin what works with my skin and what doesn't work with my skin and you what know so, do you mind sharing what, what was that what doesn't work with your skin do you mind sharing yes okay so i have a really bad habit and maybe this is just because of what i do but like <laughs> I used to just be like really abrasive with my skin. I used to want to do all the peels, all the actives, all of the exfoliants, like all at once, like just go, 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 go. But I've actually learned that slow and steady wins the race when it comes to skincare. Yeah. And when I'm not rushed to try to like even out my complexion and get rid of things, my skin heals so much nicely and it stays beautifully nicely. And mm -hmm. I've also learned, um, I think just a lot more about like, 
cutting down on like exfoliating too much like over exfoliating i think is something that i've definitely been guilty of so i have like designated days now where like i only use exfoliants wednesdays and sundays or like two it's and it's also case by case so like let's say my skin is just like oh, doing way too much on a monday right or a tuesday mm -hmm. then i'll use the product you know we'll skip sunday and i'm gonna do it mm -hmm. then but I have to be mindful that like, okay, we're not going to overdo it. And that mm. means that I have to do a little bit more reading when it comes to ingredients, because like a toner may have exfoliants in it, like active ingredients, and you might not know it. So I'm not going to use that every day anymore. I'm going to wait until it's my day to exfoliate. And then mm. I'll use that. And then I'll wait another three to four days and I'll exfoliate again, but no more than like twice, twice ish mm -hmm. a week, you know? So that's what I've learned. What about you? What would have been your like faux pas with skincare that you've learned? I use a lot of products. <laughs> I will have like eight products on and I won't always be as organized about using my products. I love how you do mm. that. You, you know, on a Wednesday and a Sunday are your exfoliating days. I'll just do it as and when, and then I won't mm -hmm. why my skin's a vex with me. So I think, I just need a bit more structure when it comes to my skincare because there's a lot of products that I do um, like. And then sometimes I get really la lazy. Like I'll go to sleep with my makeup on, which is, I know, <gasps> disgusting. Oh, that is, is honestly just the worst habit ever. And I have white sheets. So like, I don't even have an excuse anymore because I would wake up and my sheets would be trash. So I can't, <laughs> I can't even get away with that even if I wanted to. Yeah. That is, It's not ideal. Oh. We've lost Jackie, or is it me that we've lost? Can you guys still see me? Can you guys see me? Okay, I think you guys can still see me. Let's see when hopefully Jackie can get back on. Could be me. Jackie's got less. She'll she'll come back hopefully. What would you recommend for combination skin? I mean, I'm not really going to be recommending, but I think it's always like working out what's the best routine for you and seeing what your skin likes and dislikes. But also, if you've got like dry skin in certain areas, uh, but oily skin in certain areas, then it's a good idea to use different products on different areas of your skin. All right, I think we're going to get Jackie back. She's coming in now. Oh my God, no. sorry. Can you hear me? I hear you. My phone overheated and just said, ah. And oh, it said no. Did you change the location or did you have another phone? No, I didn't. I have like a light behind me, but it is a pretty hot light. Okay, fair enough. That's all wow. right. It's good. Um, huh? so, that's all good. Yeah, so where, where were we? Where did we leave off? So I was talking about good and bad things work with our skincare like you know the thing that you don't like when it comes to your skincare and what i don't like when all the bad things that i do when it comes to my skincare oh another one i think was like i was so obsessed with like oil control oil control like being matte like taking away shine and like the older i get the more i kind of embrace my skin type because i have oily combination skin so it's more like normal around my mouth and then it's super oily in my t-zone mm. and honestly it's just like embracing it like i love having oily skin i think i love waking up and just be glistening and what like, i love it i wear heavy night creams now i load on the oils at night moisture and you don't break no because the more like oil loving ingredients that i use the better it is like for example like i think there's something about oil uh cleansing like cleansing oils and cleansing bombs that help keep my skin really balanced i like a lot of hyaluronic acid um, oh, that's been helping me a ton with like oil control oil balance so no i actually ironically i don't and i always thought i would but mm -mm, girl my skin be my so skin be loving. no i love that glazed donut <laughs> I have the opposite skin too. I have dry skin. I, I realize this. Yeah, you I'm do. Cool. Yeah, I, I know you talk about that. I'm a prone. I can get eczema around my eyes and my ears and here if I'm not 
if I over exfoliate and if I'm not careful about my products and my ingredients but mm. overall I'm trying to maintain the youth in my skin and moisture is very very helpful so how often do you find exfoliating works for you since you have dry skin so I'm careful about where I exfoliate so I will okay. put them just around here because mm -hmm. this is where pores. so I'll treat here two or three times a week I'll be honest with you but I never put anything around here oh so you target areas of your face too yeah because I'll start drying out cracking and feeling quite sore in these areas if I do that and it's always outright dry like it doesn't fluctuate or change summertime it's like not as bad but in the UK it's so dry and so cold that the mm. heat and, the and then like I can just feel my skin like flaring and it's just, it hates it. So um, summertime, I like my skin though. Wow, you maintain it really well because your skin looks like normal balanced right now. It's the moisture. It's also the Power Bright. <laughs> How have you found over, overall using Power Bright over the last couple of weeks? Because I know both of us have been trying it out. Yeah. And thoughts on it? So, okay, so the last leg of, like, getting my skin back to normal was I wanted to, like, even up my complexion. I got rid of the dark scars that I had broken out from last year. And then I was like, okay, but, like, the scars are gone, but, like, my, my overall complexion doesn't look even. Do you get, do you get what I mean? Like, no, I, I never get what I mean. It just doesn't look even and radiant, right? Yeah. So once I added Power Bright, it was, like, the last, like, boom, my skin was like, oh, cool. And I'm surprised because it's not an exfoliant. It's mm -hmm. not a super, you know, it's not something that I thought would be the last step that I would need because I would think like typically I'd be like, oh, I probably just need to like, you know, wait it out, exfoliate, da 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 da. But no, mm -hmm. this is really kind of the last step that like boosted the, uh, yeah, like removing the dullness from my skin and getting it all completely even. Mm -hmm. And I, I think I will probably forever use this product. And I really liked it after using it with the microfoliant last night. Mm -hmm. And it's it's funny because right now I just put it on and then you're going to bed, but I'm starting my day. So I just followed it up with uh, SPF because, you know, when you're using exfoliants and, and actives and stuff like that, you always want to protect your skin from the sun. But you will probably yeah. be following up with the night cream, right? Same, exactly that. Mm -hmm. And I only use my treatment products in the night like I never put any kind of treatment stuff yeah. only on in the morning and then like my sunscreen as well but you know maybe I need to use power bright in the day as well oh yeah I've been loving this during the day because it's niacinamide so it's almost kind of like um I don't want to say like a vitamin c but like they kind of serve and the same purpose but yeah, I've been, I've actually really liking this product. I'm almost done with this one. Like this one's almost finished. So I've been using the hell out of this. I'm, I used it every day. I used it every day. And before I even got um, the chance to post about this product, like we vet everything, we try everything. My team knows I don't sign any dots until I try something and then mm -hmm. I like it. And I was like, oh, this is fire. Let's definitely move forward. So I really, really would definitely recommend this because it works really good. Amazing. And always protect your skin, y'all. So should we, um, by the oh. way, if you're just joining us, we should once again call out to the deal that Dermalogica is is giving us for all of you guys watching. Yep. Yeah, so if you spend $55 in the US, you will get the brightening bundle. This is the gift of purchase. You will receive this bundle here as well as the um, physical defense. And I believe you also get a travel size of the Power Bright, the what we're talking about now. So when you spend online um, 40 pounds in the UK and Europe, $55 in the US, you'll get all of this. I think this is their best ever deal. They have like- Yeah. Best, the I don't think they've ever done a deal like that before, ever. I don't think they have. And it's such a good deal. The products are really, really good and definitely worth trying. I think we're going to take one question or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's Where definitely take some questions. Where I saw at? Ducky in here. Hey, Ducky. I saw Ducky as well. Listen, I'm so bad at using this. Okay. Oh, I see the questions. Oh, what are some ingredients you should have for oily skin? Maybe that's a good one for you, Jackie. Yeah, I mean... 
Hyal hyaluronic acid is definitely top shelf for me. Um, it's a must. I feel like it's, and you know what? There's a little, I think, like misconceptions about what it is, what it does. I've heard people say it dries out your skin. I don't subscribe to that. It's never done that for me. Um, I really like Arnica. I find that Arnica is great. Like, I think of Arnica as like Neosporin for my face. So sometimes when my face is, maybe I just did a scrub, my skin's a little sensitive. I will use Arnica as kind of like a calmer. And um, I really like the way that it makes my skin feel immediately after washing. I don't feel like, it doesn't feel like super heavy. Sometimes you put on serums and you're like, okay, this feels like a serum, but the Arnica just soaks right into my skin and it's really good at calming. Um, Cause believe it or not, even though I have dark skin, a lot of people don't realize like you still get redness, you still get like inflammation in your skin. You may not see it the same way, but um, Arnica is, it's like a healing, soothing, calming. Um, so those are probably the two that stand out to me the most that I could think of. What about you, Patricia? Uh, well, I don't really have like the oily skin <laughs> situation. Oh yeah, duh. <laughs> but people, yeah, you have the opposite problem. <laughs> In. and actually yeah. I love hyaluronic acid I live for it you guys hear me talking about it all the time I use it as step zero in my routine and then I put other things on top but for me I can't do anything without using hyaluronic acid as part of my routine um actually, another the same that's usually like my first step too like almost always yeah you should put vitamin c then hyaluronic and then lots of other stuff on afterwards supposedly yeah that's what told me I uh, saw so a good question here, actually, which I think I could answer, which is, I have hyperpigmentation around my mouth area since being a child. Um, what products do not cause skin lightening, but rather brightening and reducing dark spots? Mm. Well, girl, <laughs> girl, I said that like you, Jackie. <laughs> We've been talking about the power right here. There we go. Um, yeah. Funny, I think a lot of us have this kind of darker area around our mouths. I, I have a beard. So just around here, I just have a little bit of a darker area that if I don't stay on top of gets worse in the summer and I will just look like you know light is skinned here and here just gets really dark if I don't stay on top of my treatments and my sunscreen so this is a great product for something like that I think that would be perfect I agree and it's also one thing to um one thing we need to be mindful of when you do have dark skin especially us as as West African women that's very common um but you know don't be too harsh on yourself. Like our bodies are not meant to just all be one color. Like naturally your elbows are probably gonna be a little bit darker. That's okay. Knees are gonna be a little bit darker. Like there's gonna be some parts of your body where there's just more melanin. That's a normal, typical standard trait of being, you know, of having dark skin and forcing it and, and fighting it too much sometimes does more harm to your skin than good. But it's definitely for me, the more products that I, the better I get with my skincare routine over the years, the better it's gotten but it's not an overnight process and it's still there. Like it's just a part of our complexion. So don't, you know, don't look at it as like a flaw per se. Just look at it as like a very common trait of having dark skin. And it's, you know, it, it can get better, but it's really, I think, hard to get completely rid of it. And you shouldn't, you shouldn't want to anyway. You know, that's what makes us unique and what makes our skin beautiful. Yeah, exactly. That my face is a different color to my body. It always has been, it probably always will be. It changes exactly. um, as well to the winter. But, you know, there's skin that you know is, you know, it's looked after. It's doing its best when you really do take care of it as well. Yeah, take, take, take care of your skin. Our skin takes care of us. It's the only skin we have. Very true. I love that. All right. Should we do one more question then? Yeah, then let's do it. We're using the code tea time after this chat um, to get this offer while it's available. And Dermalogica, since you're here, I see Dermalogica in the comments. Um, our Canadian followers are asking how that works. So do we know if that's going to work for Canada too? Because I'm not sure and I, I want them to confirm that one. True. Please let them know in the comment. And yeah, I'll let them know. Again. Oh, that's a good question about body acne, body scarring. Love someone that question. Said, someone said any Dermalogica products for, for body scarring. You can actually use the microfoliants on your on your body so i get like back knee and to be fair i need to get better at being more consistent doing this but you can use it for the body um you can use retinol for the body you can also use the my i, I don't remember what it's called but there's like a a accelerated version of like a stronger version of the microfoliant so i would probably recommend 
that one for the body. It's the one with the, so it has like purple on the bottle. I forget what it's called, but there's two types of microfoliant. There's like an amplified one and then like a regular one, a standard one. Amazing. And actually very similar when it comes to body acne, like using, you know, facial products. I use my face products on this area in particular, because this is where I get breakouts mm -hmm. and your body skin's a bit, tougher so it can actually handle a bit more exfoliation exactly so, don't it's not, yeah so, exactly it's not as fragile as the face so if anything let's say you use something and might be a little sensitive for your skin use the body like get your money's worth you know like don't chuck it yet use it on your hands use it on your knees your 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 back your chest i mean the super foliant that's what it's called it's the super foliant the, 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 the um exfoliant i was talking about just now Okay. Oh, I think we meant to talk about any other steps. What are you going to do next now? You've applied your Power Bright. Oh, you've applied. I, your yes. So I applied my Power Bright. I applied my face. I, I like to use like a gel moisturizer. And then during the day, I just finished off with SPF. Um, Dermalogic, since y'all are here, please never discontinue Prisma Protect. Okay. This is my favorite SPF. Please. I'm begging. <laughs> Don't ever get rid of this SPF because I love it so much. So yeah, that's my, that's my, always my last step is SPF. I love that. And actually I've got new products here, but Sound Sleep Cocoon. This is Ooh. so good at night. It has, it got a weird, it's got a weird smell, a great weird smell. It's kind of a little bit like coffee. Um, what is, why does it have that weird smell? But I love it. It's kind of like this gel, um, I was going to say material, texture. I haven't tried that. It's got this lovely smell. There we go. And you see, it's more like a gel than a like a thick cream. So oh, I, I can see. Layer it, um, something over it. But yeah, it's really nice. Just before I go to bed, I like to like shine up, moisturize, and then you know, go to bed. Basically, it, it's it actually looked like a cream, and then I feel like once you it, worked it out and applied it, it turned into a gel. It's more like a gel. I think your skin would love this, actually. I probably would. <laughs> I, my, my skin loves gel-based products. I would love that. I would love that. Okay. Right. What, where are we at now? So lastly, I'm going to just call out the, the offer. If you guys haven't heard already, gift with purchase. If you um, spend £40 in the UK and Ireland, you will get this lovely set. You'll receive this, and you'll also get the Power Bright travel size that we've been talking about. And in the US, if you spend um, $55 online, you will also get these goodies. I believe that the links will be on our stories as well. Period. All products that I recommend. By the way. Yes, definitely. We I've worked with Demologica for over a year. I see you talking about them all the time. So. I think that both of us can truly say that we work with brands that we like genuinely like and use and you know can say is worth it yeah absolutely and i really admire the amount of like education they put in their products and stuff so they launch something and then it's not like they just shove it on the shelves like you really can get a sense of like okay how do i use this product what does it do and i i, I really love how much education they put into the products and into skincare in general so and they Melodica. They actually give us information about how the products work and if we ever want to go in and have sessions with um their team they'll let us do that so we actually understand the ingredients so it's super powerful and this is like the best thing about being an influencer like you get the the lowdown of products and ingredients i know you get like the first hand tea because it's hard. sometimes it's hard it's hard i think sometimes it's hard to like shift through like okay what's trendy and what's actually helpful and mm -hmm. i don't feel like dermalogica launches right now products i feel like they launch things that like okay i can actually incorporate this in my routine for years and these are mm -hmm. actual staple products a lot of their products for me are must have staple products yes yes definitely for sure okay what else are you doing today tell me before we wrap up so after this i'm gonna have a late breakfast <laughs> and i say that very loosely because it's noon right now um and then i'm actually gonna have my my cup of coffee because i didn't get to bring my my tea to the actual tea time with you but yeah, what, what kind of tea are you drinking? Red berry. Try, I try Ooh. not to the clock in the afternoon. So oh, just got so good. Is it like a tea time? I mean, I'm sorry. Is it like a bedtime tea? Like it's supposed to like bring you down? 50-50. I do have it at bedtime though. Just so having that caffeine hit. Yeah. 
And do you add anything to your tea or do you just drink it straight? I drink it straight, no sugar, nothing like that. You're a, you're a proper British girl. That's what Dennis does. He just doesn't add. I'm over here like, where's the sugar? Where's the, <laughs> where's the agave? Like, I'm adding everything in my tea. No, none, none. No, you know what it was? I tried, I, I went to like a tea ceremony in Morocco and it was like, I was like, wow, this is what tea tastes like? Because I'm only oh. drinking like straight tea. But seeing them add stuff to it, I was like, okay, I can actually like become a tea drinker. And I've been drinking tea ever since. It's, it's the way to go. But they have a different kind of tea. It's really, really they good. Do, they do have a different kind of tea, but like they like add sugar. And I guess I just didn't realize you can put sugar in your tea. Like, I don't know why I never, nobody drank tea in my household like that. So I never really, and we weren't coffee drinkers either. I'm weird. I don't know. We just didn't see that in my house. So I just thought people just drank tea straight. And I was like, this is not that great. I mean, the, the grown people drink it straight, you know. True. The woodsies like me are adding the sugar. <laughs> the milk and the cream and all the other stuff and the honey. To be honest, my mom still does that. She doesn't drink um, tea straight anyway. No, it's good. It's good, though. But I definitely have been, like, learning a bit more about teas. And, you know, I like having them in my house so that when we have guests, like, I can offer them tea. I feel like it's the perfect way to, like, welcome someone into your would you like some tea would you like anything with your tea i love i love hosting people i love it i love that we've gone from skincare to tea that's the way right <laughs> i know right but tea being offered to me is like a it's like a warm hug it's like oh thank you yes i'd love a cup of tea it's oh, like to know. I'll, I'll i'll keep the i'll keep the the tradition going then you'll have to send me your list of favorite tea so next time you're here and you come by i will have them for you ready because i i buy tea that like i don't necessarily drink i i have it so that when people come over i can offer it to them okay. so you know i like to have it on standby so what what is your night what what's bedtime for you going to be like tonight well it's 10 past eight so the kids might be in bed <laughs> if michael's done it if not it will be <laughs> the kids to bed and then the glass yeah. of and some netflix and then me going to bed pretty early as well how what time do you go to bed Oh, actually, I don't go to bed early, though. I go to bed usually about one o'clock, but it's really bad. That's not bad. That's really, that's, girl, that is bad. I want to go like to- That's normal. 1 a.m. is normal. That's like normal to you, me. Is that bad? Look at you living your best life. 1 a.m. No, but I'm a night owl. So like 1 a.m. I'm like, oh yeah, that's standard. Is the thing. Oh my God. A.m. A.m. Get I'm bored. I'm no. bad. Yeah, you're a night owl, right? What time do you go to bed? I'm a night owl. Okay, so I'm trying to get better at like being in bed by one. That's like good for me. So, I mean, I could easily be up to like three girl, like four, five, just chilling. You're going to bed when the sun is rising. I mean, I try not to be that bad, but I easily can, yeah. I can. They, they, those days are behind me, love. <laughs> They've left me. I mean, I'm sure it won't always last, but yeah, it's, it's yeah, hard no, to just like, yeah. fall asleep. Enjoy it. No, <laughs> I should be in bed by 10.30. Like, if I'm being really good, that's what I should do. And then if I can't do that, 11 at the latest. Yeah. You're so disciplined. I'm like, um, 11? That's when the party starts. I mean, I ain't going nowhere, but like, that's when the ideas start flowing, girl. I start writing stuff. I'm like, oh my God, I got to answer these emails. I start getting back the text. I got like a hundred missed texts all the time. Girl, I'll be just like, I get my second wind at like midnight and I'm ready. To, I'm wired. And it, I would love that. But then I get 6 a.m. crying from a, from a baby and it's like, damn it. <laughs> like I should have just no, gone you, to, but no, you, have a, you have a different life. You have a different life. Yeah. So I'm right, sure though, 10 30, 10 30 is pushing it. 10 30, 10 30 is definitely pushing it. It, it's a bit early, I can't lie. But now that outside's open for us now, do you know that? Oh, finally, yeah. wait, that must have just happened then. Like last week. Okay, then yeah. So oh, wait, like uh, fully open now? Uh, you can get out. Yeah, getting there. So if I'm going to channel that Jackie energy, I'm going to okay. be up here at 3 a.m. partying, you know, just, just a little bit. Well, see, uh, I'm not partying though. I like being uh, up, but at home. Oh, like I don't want to be like honestly, I'm not even trying to be funny. Like, you take me to the club because you know how some people, normal club goers, like the party starts for for them at like 1 a.m., 12. Like that's when they start going to the clubs. If that's you, when they, that's when they get there. That's when they get there to the clubs. 1 a.m. 
if you take me to the club at 1 a.m., I'm definitely falling asleep in the club. It's, it's happened multiple. I will be that person because I want to be at home. Don't touch me. Don't talk to me. I have a man. Leave me alone. Why are you making eye contact with me? Whose drink is this? Take it back. Who are you? You smell like I don't know. I just want to be at home. I'm the home buddy, but I'm the night out. I'm the night out home buddy. Okay. You're just sense. giving us what we need, teaching us about skincare and delivering on the goods, right? A little, a little, little something. A little something. <laughs> All right, then, Jackie. It was so lovely talking to you. <laughs> more lives more regularly. I, I would love to. I would love to. Uh, Outside of the time difference, just say when, girl. Like, we'll make it work. This is this is it. This is working for me anyway. <laughs> this was really fun. Thank you so much, Dermalogica, once again for letting us do this. This is cool. Thank you, Dermalogica. Um, this is great. You guys have seen the offers and you'll see our stories as well. But guys, we will see you all later. Bye, guys. Wherever you are, good night, good morning, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you guys soon. Amazing. Bye. Bye.